Hey friends, Jackie Sinclair here with GoDigitalDiva.com. Today I'm coming to you for a little bit of like a cheerleader pep talk encouragement, um, not really training um, purposes. I, I have been seeing a lot of um, discouraging and sad judgments online. Um, and it is, it is preventing people from wanting to show up. And that is, that's not okay. Uh, we are in a space where everybody should be welcomed, everybody should be encouraged all the time. And I really hate that people are, leaders in the industries are um, putting out that there are certain parameters and guidelines and blueprints and must-dos um, around becoming successful. Because here's the thing, uh, the only thing that's going to make you successful is yourself. <laughs> uh, there is no uh, formula, one-size-fits-all, blueprint, uh, magic formula that is going to poof, bring you that success that you're looking for. This is something you have to accomplish on your own, um, in your own way. So I want to focus on what can bring you that success. And that is confidence. Confidence in yourself, confidence in your skill set, and confidence in what you are offering, whether it's a product or service. I have seen such a lack of confidence in the service providers online. And um, if you have a product that you're, you know, if you're a network marketer, um, I am, or if you have an Etsy store and you're uh, an online boutique, I just get so disheartened when I see people getting bashed down um, because it eats away at the confidence that you have. When you initially get on here, you're scared as all heck anyways. And for somebody to come on and push more of that uh, doubt and fear into you, that is just, that's not cool, dudes. That's just not cool. So I want to explain to you, this is what's going to make you successful. And this is what's going to sell you showing up confidence, showing people what you can do, showing people what you are about sharing your story. Those are things that are going to help you succeed. It's not Facebook ads. It is not cold messaging, direct messaging, whatever it is. It's not spamming Facebook groups. It's not um, anything besides showing up as yourself, authentically real and raw, baby, all the time. You cannot build a brand or run a business without being yourself. I promise you it will catch up to you. People will catch on and it will just burn you out. It will suck the life and energy out of you. I have seen it firsthand. Um, heck, I even tried that at first. I had this idea that you had to be a certain way, think a certain thing, have certain beliefs when you go into this digital realm because our leaders in these industries in a very subtle way kind of share that that's the way it goes. Um, and if you challenge or if you um, question those beliefs or philosophies, um, then you kind of get shunned and it's, um, it's, it's discouraging and um, it really punches a blow to you and you, you reevaluate if this is the right thing for you. So you guys, I, I just want to make sure that you know the only thing that is going to be between you and that success that you're looking for and that you're yearning for and that you desire is yourself. You just have to get out of, out of your own brain, get that negative Nancy out, kick her to the curb. And um, I want you to bring in positive Paul and you just, you just keep going over and over. You're going to do this. You're going to be successful. You are the best at what you do. Um, affirming yourself in your skill, validating that you are going to be the expert on this and that people will come to you and ask you for your opinion. I can't tell you how much it changed. The success that you want 
is within you already. So let me tell you a story. I started out and I thought I was totally confident in myself. I knew I had a great skill set to offer as a virtual assistant. Um, but I definitely got uh, the wind taken out of my sails a number of times. And I remember thinking to myself, okay, well, maybe, uh, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe I'm not going to be great at this. I can be good at it. Uh, I want to be the best, <laughs> but I can settle for good, I think. And when I do that, when you do that, you don't realize, but you're cracking your confidence when you do that, little by little. Um, then something happened and I rocked, crushed a launch for a client. And I saw the results of what I had been working towards. And it was a game changer for me. I realized I am the greatest. <laughs> I am amazing at what I do. I am so good. My skill set is off the chart. I communicate. I'm available. I'm dependable. I'm loyal. I'm flexible. I'm all these things that so many other people are not. And that, my friends, just took the roof off of my confidence. And I'll tell you what happened. I started showing up more. I started doing more videos. I started being able to easily write out what I wanted to say. It was like, as soon as that light bulb of confidence went off, I mean like real confidence, you've seen the fruits of your labor confidence. It was a complete transformation for me. And so what I've learned is no funnels, no, um, uh, ads, no crossing my fingers and hoping that doesn't work. <laughs> it helps sometimes, but it doesn't, it's not the actual reason people come to you because you guys, this is what happened. When I started showing up, people started like emailing me and, and messaging me to work with me. I went from three clients to nine in two weeks. That is huge. Um, it was so amazing to see what confidence can do for you, right? And I try to do that. Every time I show up, I try to be in my best energy because I know that's what my people respond to. They enjoy my personality, you know? Um, they love the fact that I'm loud and vibrant and super energetic and, I could show up like this, done up, makeup, hair, all of that. I could also show up with a crazy messy bun and my hair um, all greasy with bags under my eyes. And I'd still be the same person. I just look a lot better right now <laughs> than I would the other one. It's not about having the processes in place. If you aren't showing up to share who you are. That is the real reason that you get those sales. Sharing who you are, what you've been through, where, where you've gone, where you're going, that is what sells people. That confidence, that consistency of showing up, that's what's going to get you your profit, girlfriend. That's what's going to get you your dream client. Not having the perfect email marketing funnel. Because I can tell you right now, I didn't have any of that. I didn't have a website. I didn't have no email. I still don't have an email funnel thing. I don't have any of that. And yet I am wildly successful uh, compared to, I mean, other people might not think so. I think so because I define my own success and that's what you have to do. Figure out what success means to you and then go after it. Success to me meant being home with my kids going out and not having to check my bank account, make sure I got enough to go to Target and go to the grocery store and pay for this or that. Success means having my coffee in the morning without rushing. Like I can sit down and actually drink it and enjoy it. I know, it's so exciting. Uh, success means making a delicious dinner meal for my family 
and spending time with them in the evening and not feeling the time crunch of getting off of work, going, picking up the kids, getting home, doing laundry, doing this. And then I have a minute to sit down and say hello to them. That's just not how I pictured my evenings to be. And so now I have all of that. I have, that is my success. I live in a beautiful home. It's great for my family and I. I give my boys a really nice lifestyle. I don't have to worry about cleaning. I hired that out. I can go out to dinner pretty much whenever I want. It's the little freedoms that have really given me that extra confidence that I am here for all of it because if I keep showing up and y'all keep liking what I'm telling you, you're going to keep coming to me, which in turn means money for me, which in turn means better, more freedom (laughs) for me. You see what I'm saying? You see the cycle, the correlation here? Uh, Confidence closes, bottom line. Confidence closes. And if you don't have confidence, there's a very good chance you're not going to close that lead, that call, that sale, that person who you're talking to, it's not going to happen. Once you have confidence, all bets are off and you can achieve whatever you want. You ever heard about those people that they're just, they're full of lies and they're just, they're, you know, everything they say is wrong, but the way that they say it with such conviction and confidence, you just believe it. That is what you need to succeed. You need that powerful conviction and confidence in your skill set because people will just gravitate towards that. They want that. They want you on their team. They want you doing that work for them. That's an energy they want to be a part of. So my challenge to you is over the next week, I want you to really sit with your skill set. I want you to affirm to yourself daily that you are the best and people will come to you for your expert knowledge. And you do a bomb diggity awesome job at what it is that you do. I want you to tell yourself that every day for like a week or two. And I want you to show up for your people. I want you to go live on your page. I want you to go live on Instagram or Facebook, whichever mode, medium you want to do. I want you to show up. Even if you just show up and you're like, hi, I'm Susie Q and I'm a da 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 da. And I'm really excited because this is my first live. And now I don't have anything else to say. So bye. I don't care if that's all you do. The fact that you got on and did it and you were happy and excited, that is going, you're, I'm telling you, you will see something happen. There will be magic in it. So that is my challenge to you to do it. Affirm yourself, validate those skills. Give yourself that pep talk. Ask somebody else to give you that pep talk. Because when someone else tells you you're doing a great job, that what you're doing is meaningful, purposeful, is where you should be, it reinforces it in you. So it's a lot easier for you to keep that energy and then transfer it to the screen and be out there with your people and bring them in. Do it and see what happens. Because I can almost guarantee you you'll see a response. You will see, and if you keep doing it, people will start coming to you. People will start messaging you. People will start emailing you. You'll start getting referrals, tags in Facebook groups because you're being a presence. And that, my friend, is a really powerful thing. I will leave you with this. Confidence is your closure.